They just, they just don't like a lot of people, don't like a lot of appetizers on this lake. That's what we don't like. Got him. Got him. That's not small. Oh, that's big. Yes. What's up, M. Average? Freaking jacked, as you saw from the video title. Got the old derb pants on tonight. Official little evening. Evening into the night tournament. First tournament ever in the brand new Cayman. So I'm freaking jacked for it. I've been meaning to jump in one of these uh, little night tournaments for a while and I just haven't really done it. It's kind of a weird format. So let me let me line it up for you guys. So it is a 7 p.m. until midnight tournament. You know, it's hot here in Texas. Today it's only 93 degrees. I about put a damn hoodie on because it's so chilly out here. It's a team tournament, but I'm fishing solo. You can fish either. The rules are still the same and the rules are kind of interesting with the slot limit. So there's a slot on this lake and the rules of the tournament is you can only keep one bass over 21 inches. It's a five fish limit still, but the rest of the bass have to be under 14 inches. Little tiny pipsqueaks, but you want the biggest, fattest pipsqueaks under 14 inches possible. Now there's one wrinkle that goes along with that and it is that you can actually keep spotted bass of any size. Now I haven't caught a spotted bass at this lake that's probably over 15 or 16 inches, but there's rumors of three to four pounders in here. So that would make a huge difference. So with that being said, there's definitely some strategy. We're gonna have about an hour and 45 minutes of daylight. We got boats dumping in, uh, everyone's lined up right here. Man, I'm freaking excited. I've fished this like a couple times. I've caught some giant swim bait fish and the tournament results here have been uh, pretty damn good. They have this, this tournament here every week and it's taken like 12 or 13 pounds to win, which if you think about it, that's pretty crazy. Big fish has been about nine to nine and a quarter every single time. And then to go along with that, you still gotta have four decent unders. So I got my work cut out for me. We're definitely gonna have to strategize about when we target the big ones, when we target the unders, we're just gonna have some damn fun with it. Ain't nobody gonna speak to you, so I'll say hello. How's it going? I got you. Well, I never say where I'm at or show the boat ramp. Oh, you can't if you've been here. All right, quick before we jump into the tournament video today, guys. The other day when I did my boat walk through my brand new Camus, I left out what's in here. I have exactly 100 volts of goodness in here. That's not only just badass for me. I'm not just bragging about the stuff I have but it's literally can take your fishing game to the next level and of course alleviate a lot of the headaches that go along with having batteries and using batteries all day and especially using all them damn screens and forward facing sonar and 360 and if you get a hydro wave, your regular lead acid batteries are pretty much obsolete and you can't even hardly use them if you're drawing that much power. So let's take a look at what we got right in here. My 100 volt system from these guys right here, Powerhouse Lithium. Very proud to announce Powerhouse Lithium has teamed up with Millican Fishing for 2022 and beyond. And I'm very proud to announce that because it is a local, local to my roots anyways, a Nebraska company that jumped in the lithium game. And not only have these batteries been amazing for me so far since I started using them well, like the last month or so, they have a product that no one else, no other lithium companies on the market have that actually will give you a sharper image on the forward facing sonar, no matter what brand you have, plus the side scan, the 2D, the down scan, everything. I gotta show it to you, look at this. So right over there, we have my conventional 12 volt battery. So that's a 12 volt, 110 amp hour battery from Powerhouse. And then over here, we got two 36 volt batteries. So these are 40 amp hour for a total of 80 amp hour 36 volt batteries they are wired in parallel now i gotta tell you guys how badass we wired everything on all these switches in just a second but this is the battery that i'm super excited about and you guys should be too this is a 16 volt 100 amp hour battery that is specifically for running my electronics that is the product that no other lithium companies on the market have right now so instead of drawing a lot of power off the starting battery the 12 volt battery right here like you traditionally do when you run all those screens or even running two 12 volt batteries in parallel all of those electronics run off of that one 16 volt battery powerhouse gave directions on how this is all wired and then the guys that are over at boatworks absolutely knocked it out the park especially brennan big thanks to you guys over there but check out these switches so 
We got our switch for the main 12 volt battery there. And then we got this Perco switch, which when switched to the right, the electronics can be run off the 12 volt battery. When switched to the left, they're run off the 16 volt battery. We got this switch down here that is specifically for the forward facing sonar up there. And then for the trolling motor 36 volt battery, we got that on a switch as well. As if it wasn't badass enough already, this little bundle of joy right here and right down here, those really make me happy as a tournament fisherman because those are called the powerhouse run and gun system. They will actually pull power from the 12 volt starting battery over to the 16 volt battery and to the 236 volt batteries, one of them, which they're running parallel, so it goes to both of them, from the alternator of the engine. So as you are idling, as you are running, they are constantly charging those batteries over there, the 16 volt and the 236 volts off of the starting battery. And all the batteries are run off an app as well. So that shows you the exact percentage each battery has at any given moment. And I cannot get those batteries over there below 70%. I have to think a lot of that is due to the run and gun system sending that power over there. We have a couple fail safes built in as well with that switch right there. If the 16 volt uh, would ever die, once again, you can switch this over from the 16 to the 12 volt and the electronics can run off of the 12 volt in a pinch as well. Also this right here, if we switch it down to the jump mode, we actually can use the power through the running gun system to jump the starting battery off of those guys. Now, unless you've been living under a rock, I think you guys all know the benefits of uh, the lithiums over the lead acid and the AGM batteries. But in case you have, very simply, they're way more powerful, they're lighter, they last longer throughout the day, and the longevity is much better. But a couple things I love about the powerhouse lithiums, besides having this 16 volt battery that's gonna make your electronics look much more crisp and more powerful, is they're some of the cheapest lithiums I've seen on the market, and they have a 15 year warranty so think about that how many batteries do you go through i used to go through like a set of batteries a year which was three of the trolling motor batteries and the starting battery i'd go through four of those every single year and when you start to think about it it makes more sense with these 15 year warranty on these guys right here to go to the lithium and of course since powerhouse teamed up with the mf or nation we're gonna give you guys a discount use code mf10 you guys can get them cheaper than they've ever sold them anywhere before which I think will make them probably the most affordable lithium batteries on the market. And to sweeten the pot for you guys a little bit more, the first 20 of you guys that go out and you pick up some of these batteries right here using that MF10 code, we're gonna send you guys out a piece of merch signed by yours truly. Good luck guys. I suppose we are gonna launch shotgun start today. So that'll be kind of interesting. Bunch of MFers out here, so that's always badass to see. I don't have the highest hopes for this because I'm fishing against pretty much people that fish this lake almost exclusively and they fish it often, but we're going to give it our best, obviously. Hopefully we can put that big one in the, in the boat. Obviously we're going to need an over to have a chance to win. We have no chance without that. So that's going to be the primary focus. I'm going to try to go get on one of the brush piles that um, I've caught some fish on in the past, probably with the big bait to start. Go from there. Was kind of an interesting shotgun start let's uh let's start by a little brush pile right up here i actually don't have it marked because well i haven't been here since i got my new boat and uh i don't have any waypoints <laughs> but it can't be that hard to find right starting with the old big glide we're gonna see if we can get a big one to come out and bite first thing but like i said we don't have a ton of time to uh catch them before it gets dark and I would really prefer to catch them before it gets dark. Oh no! Why is there a school of bass right there? Oh my god. Expect 
go. Freaking four of them bumping it the entire way to the boat. <sighs> Craziness. Got him. Got him, that's not small. Oh, yes it is. That was like a three pounder. <laughs> as crazy as this is to say, that is, uh, that's not one we even want to throw to <laughs> in this tournament. I'm gonna keep putting some different baits up there. There's a school of bass right here. I think a crankbait's gonna go in next after the swim bait. I think there's some big ones. Did not get one of the bigger marks. That was cool though. Good way to start. When you lift up and it's just weight, generally you think it's a giant. Oh no, we had it. Oh no. Look at that school of bass right there. Oh, they all just went to the hair jig. his ass on the hair ring. Uh, he's not gonna be one of our 21s. I don't think. He's a long one. Might actually be close. It's definitely not the one we want to take to weigh in, but better than the 21 we have in the live well right now, right? None? Heck yeah. Hair jig fish? Yeah, he ain't gonna make it. He is 19 and a half. Can't hate that though. We got a nice school right here. We just I don't know how much time we can play with them because I got some good brush piles I want to hit before dark, but I don't hate that. They are schooled up like crazy right there. All right, they're forcing me to do it. Let's catch some damn schoolies really quick. Get something in the live well. Hopefully, easier said than done it appears tonight. Come on, small fish. <laughs> There we go, spotted bass. It don't even matter what size he is. Small is what size he is. Can't believe that's a keeper. <laughs> Swim bait in there and we got a quarter of a fish. Get some of these guys out, they'll stay intact much better than the Kitech in this super hot heat, hot to heat. Should be a bunch of schoolers blasting around, but Dang, we're gonna need to do better than that even for our little guys. But we're on the board, I'm after. Like I said, sometimes it's good to just get some momentum going. Because if we can bust four of these little tiny guys, these unders, that would be amazing. Well, it wouldn't be amazing, but if we could bust four of them, then all we gotta think about is chasing a big one and we don't have to spend any time chasing these little schooly fish or anything like that. That's an over. It's fun though. On the Maginum spoon. Should have left the damn measuring board out. Don't think he's gonna get there. That sucks. Big old head came up. God dang, look at that. 20 and a quarter. That sucks. Good one. Gotta go back. 
so far having fun catching fish they just haven't been the right size what's crazy is i've fished this like several times and it's like i either catch a two pounder or a seven plus pounder obviously the seven plus pounders are 23 to 26 inches and <laughs> i'm getting 20 inch bites today i've had a couple of them now it's uh, 18 20 uh the loss out of the one that's probably 18 19 maybe 20 but what do you do? I'm gonna keep bouncing around though, hit some just basic offshore spots. We've been hitting brush piles, points. One thing that kind of worries me a little bit is I hit where I usually can catch some schooling fish and I was trying to get some unders and uh, they were being really funky too. So I don't know, could just be a timing thing. I think everything's gonna be a timing thing. The sun is uh, trying to get down. It is 7.55, I think official sunset is about 8.35. And after that, could get tough, we'll see. tournament I'd be thrilled to have this guy but he is gonna put us right inside the slot again what a nice fish too fat one would have been great to weigh in it's nighttime if you guys didn't notice and I'm pretty much committed to doing something that I hear so much about and I've never done in my life and that is fishing green lights we've created our own green lights while ice fishing several times which is cool results varied but not a bad fish not a good fish in this tournament i don't know had some big big ones fall on my swim bay right before it got dark there i had some really big ones like hot on my glide that i should have caught and they just didn't pull the trigger so that sucks but now it's dark and we still got three hours left Okay, flash forward a couple days to editing this video and let me tell you what happened in the tournament. My light stopped working. That's about it and I no longer could film, but nothing too exciting happened. I ended up catching three unders and never got that big bite and only three people, three teams I guess, brought in fish out of like the 15 or 18 or however many boats were there for the tournament. So no bueno on, on my part. I didn't win any money or anything and a pretty tough night but I had a super fun time this is a totally different format than I've ever fished and I've never fished a tournament that went until midnight let me know if you guys want to see more night fishing content I think I figured out what was wrong with my light and we have that figured out moving forward I hope so we can film some of these night fishing adventures there was a ton of mfers in this tournament that wanted to take pictures to reach out meet me whatever beforehand which was absolutely awesome to meet you guys there was the one gentleman who wanted it to be very clear that he didn't like my cameras and me publicizing his public like anyways it was a good time uh, and and i hope to go back again soon if you guys want to see more of this tournament fishing content drop a comment down below there's some night tournaments and then i'm trying to start to get into a couple of these weekend tournaments in rayburn i've signed up for a few uh, that I want to fish in the near future as well. So tournament fishing content coming for you guys. Don't forget, go pick up some powerhouse stuff. We've got the hats signed up right there. First 20 people that order using that MF10 code. Guys, seriously, that 16 volt battery is the deal. I've been using it. I'm getting better images on all of my fish finders, which is a question that I'm getting constantly in messages since I've been showing them a lot more in videos. Is I cannot see fish in the fish finders or structure. How are you finding all these fish? Well, that's step one. And of course, not having to worry about all these electronic units killing your batteries, which was happening with every other battery system that I had been using in the past till I got that 16 volt. Go check them out. They support the channel, so support them if you're going to pick up some lithiums and Catch you guys soon. I'm out of here.